Along the northeastern shore of Lyernia Lakes, there's a marked cave on the map. This is a pretty substantial cave. It took me about a half hour to get through it all. There wasn't really anything on the uh, jump points down the lift. It just teases you with some crack crystal. this, I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through all of it. It's pretty straightforward. The Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel offers a number of smithing stones. It's very nice if you're looking for those elusive third tier smithing stones. On each level you can expect three or four diggers and one or two linkers or mages. Had to break all the stuff because, of course. A little platforming adventure here. Definitely died getting to the last platform. Most of the diggers will just let you run right by them. The mages are substantially more observant. You don't have to clear out the cave unless you really want the smoking stones. Do 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 being sneaky. Oh, he noticed me. Darn it. But the miner then just continues about his business. Back in the side chamber, more of what you'd expect. Jumping down the lift, this is the first time you'll actually want to get off the lift. It leads to some more smithing stones and a platform. Ooh, a shiny. But this entrance is the elevator, so you don't have to take the elevator all the way down. Nice little sniper spot if you have magic. Digger's staff enhances digger sorceries, so if you're using those kind, might be worth your while. Shortcut acquired. This is back to the room with the jumping. Down here you'll find more of the forearm guys, as you've seen up on the surface I'm sure.
take your time taking care of those. They'll definitely mess you up if you get all of them aggroed at once. Especially in this room. There end up being three instead of just the two that you can see. I almost died here. With like one health left. This gets you the crystal dagger. Crystal knife, sorry. Heading onward, there's a little bit of a trap, but you can see them. If you have any AoE, now's a great time to use it. you a bunch more smithing stone threes. Very nice. In this side chamber, you get a spell. Very similar to one you get over in Caelid. Continuing forward. Another somber smithing stone, but otherwise nothing exceptional. And straight to the boss door. This is a Crystillion which you may have faced by now. This one has rings, which is an odd little alternative. Like all the other Crystillians, he only has about three attacks. At this point you can just slash at him. I decided to keep my space. I didn't know how much damage the spinny attack would do, so I figured if I've got the range, why not use it? I do think it's funny how the rings stick in you for as long as they do. It look like I have a handle on my sword now. Anyway, finishing him off, you get the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. This allows you to purchase tier 1 and 2 Smithing Stones. Very nice. Happy hunting. 